Greetings, and welcome to this tutorial on unmixing and remixing sounds in Spectral Layers Elements. When you think of Spectral Layers, the first thing that might come to mind is repair and restore operations. Spectral Layers is excellent for that, but it's also really great for creative sound design and self-expression, where you can literally jam out on the spectral graph and come up with something new and interesting every time. Let's get started by listening to this electronica loop. Well, this is a good loop and a great candidate for sonic deconstruction in Spectral Layers Elements. Let's go to the Tools panel and select the Rectangular Selection tool. While I'm up here, I'll also opt for the Add to Selection option, which allows me to make non-contiguous selections on the spectral graph. Here I'm selecting some objects that are standing out clearly in the spectral graph. I can make four non-contiguous selections and then hit my spacebar to audition these selections. Let's move our selection to a new layer. Edit. Cut to new layer. The new layer shows up over here in the Layers panel. We can rename it. Solo it. And audition it. If I solo the original source material, you can see that the sounds that we extracted from it are now black holes in the spectrum. Let's take all the kicks and move them over to a new layer. Frequency Selection Tool. Select the low end. Cut to New Layer. I'll call my new layer Kicks. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I will call the duplicate Kicks 2. Okay. I'm going to select the Move tool and pitch this material up. That's interesting. Let's add the kicks. Let's go back to the original source file and see if we can extract another layer from it. I'm going to take the Frequency Selection tool again, and this time I'm going to select a band of mid-range frequencies. Great, I can use that. Cut to new layer. Let's call this mid-range. Okay, now for something completely different. I've reloaded the original source material. Now I'm using the Time Selection tool to make selections on the graph. And as you can see, the inside edges of these selections are feathered. It creates a nice kind of pulsation effect. That's interesting. Let's use the Rectangular Selection tool to just make a few more selections on the graph. It's really nice to be able to make non-contiguous selections. We can build up some interesting things here. Okay. Cut to new layer. We'll call this layer square. Let's take a look at it. Okay, here we are faced with a blank slate in Spectral Layers Elements. Let's put the program into loop mode and get it going. Now we can start exploring all the assets that we extracted from the original source material. The blip. Bumped up kicks. Oof. Bring that back a little bit. The original kicks. 
the mid-range. Let's take the mid-range and pull the pitch down. Nice. And the square. The square is awesome. Nice. Okay, let's get them all going one more time. And we'll go for the big fade out. Thanks for checking out this demo. Hope you liked it. Unmixing and remixing in Spectra Layers is such a gas. And finally, we'll leave you with the square. Well, all right. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in Spectra Layers Elements. Take care, enjoy the music, and we'll see you next time.